this worn out carpet has got to go. We decided Ruby needed a little bit more sprucing up. Yeah, it is time to get rid of this carpet, which we can't steam clean it clean it enough. No. It is it always looks dirty. It just it's worn down. It was cheap carpet I think they put in to begin with. It's not really made probably for full timers. No, it is not. So we are replacing the carpet throughout the whole RV. Yeah, and I, I'm talking around the bed. The engine hump here, out in the living area, and in the galley, it's all going. Now, for most of it, we're replacing it with better, um, an upgraded carpet, except for here on the bedroom floor. Yeah, here we're going to go with a vinyl planking, um, we hope, uh, <laughs> that will match the tile that we have in the living area. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to remove the carpet altogether. If there was one place I would really like to, it was right in front of the galley, because... I tend to be a messy cook <laughs> and that's really in front of the kitchen cabinets and the oven and everything or the stove it's a bad place for carpet yeah so we're going to a place called msrv solutions i uh, found him via the tiffin facebook pages a couple of them highly recommended saw a lot of his his work online pictures uh, we went in one rig um, that had the a tile planking put down in the back bedroom so we saw firsthand his work up close. We liked it. Um, we, haven't, we haven't heard anything bad about it, so we're going to give it a go. Today's mission, which we did choose, is to go into Lowe's and find our new carpet and vinyl flooring. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. We get to pick out which colors we want. And, and hopefully they have something that we both agree on. Yeah, that's always the hard part <laughs> in this family. So we're going to go in and get uh, quite a few samples so we can take it home and compare it to the, the tile that's staying put in the RV to see which, which ones will make the best look, the yeah. best combo for the price. Yeah, so fingers crossed we find something. It's hot in there. Well, that didn't go quite as planned. No, we got in there and we were going to actually show you what we were doing. But the dang intercom, if you've been to Lowe's, you know they love their music in the intercom. So it was a little too loud and we didn't want to get yeah. snagged for a copyright. Yeah, so their music was uh, loud elevator copyrighted music. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so what we needed to find is two kind of flooring. We needed to find a carpet and we needed to find a, um, a wood. A vinyl planking. Well, yeah, vinyl yeah. planking. So, but there were specific requirements for each one. Yeah, so the vinyl flooring had to be a 6.5 millimeter thickness um, for the slide, as you may know or understand that when the slide comes in, you know, it can't bind and hit the floor and the car and the, the planking can't be too thick. So specifically 6.5 millimeter. Yep. And then the carpet also is a certain thickness or pile um, that we had to stay within. Yeah, so the face weight for the carpet, our parameters were 42 ounces to 48 ounces face weight. Yep. All right, so we have our samples. Um, you saw us playing with the samples, but we have them. We're going to take them home. We're not going to show you yet some of our selections, no. um, but let's see which ones we decide to do. Now, if you come to Lowe's, the... Um, the wood um, samples are free. You can just take those. Some Lowe's have carpet squares that you can take home for free, and others you basically rent a big like piece the big of the carpet. Like the big one you saw me carrying. Yeah. Yeah, so, that big one is one that we had to pay a $25 deposit. Yeah, and then once you return it, you get your 25 bucks back. So just so you know, when you're going into Lowe's, um, what, what it may or may not cost you. Right, and we're not showing you what we selected because we're not sure it's going to work. Yeah. So we don't want to get want you to go, oh, yeah, that's nice. And then we go, mm, it's not nice. Yeah, it's got to be nice, not only standing <laughs> alone, but a, um, against our tile, which is, has like a yellow hue to it, and the cabinets that we currently have in there, the wood cabinets as well as the painted cabinets. So, so we're going to go play with it, and we may or may not need to go back to Lowe's <laughs> and get more samples, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, fingers crossed we nailed it with these selections. There's something in there that we can work with. We found the colors that we both agreed upon. 
I went to the website and I could only order the vinyl flooring online. The carpet, on the other hand, I couldn't order it online, nor could I call the store and order it. Hi, oh, yes, I'm looking to order the Stain Master Taupe Whisperer carpet. The item number is 1077774. So then I called my uncle and asked if he could go to their Lowe's and pick it up if I were to order it online, because I could there. And he said, no problem. Yeah, and then we'll walk it back. Stop! Like the trapped. My butt got stuck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just drop it. Okay. It's actually right. not as bad as I thought. No. So now. Okay. Now we just okay. need to put it right in the middle so we can close it. Yeah, we're going to have to slide it all the way down. Yeah. Can we? Ready? Yeah. <laughs> of course, when you start disassembling anything, a house Sorry. or whatever, <laughs> To, yeah, it, it, to do some it, upgrades, you find all the stuff that's broken. So number one is our bed frame. It's all broken. It's actually shifted to one side. So they're going to hook us up on that. I know what all the guys are thinking. Hey, stop. <laughs> they're like, mm-hmm, Phil, you go, Phil. The whole bed is broke, as you can see here. So it was causing the bed to, it was off-centered, almost an inch or so to the right or more towards the back of the rig we had no idea and we wouldn't have known unless we had taken it apart like they did so we're lucky that it didn't affect the motor or yeah. it didn't cause it to bind exactly day here at MSRV Solutions is done and I'm in heaven. I'm love, love, loving it. Yeah, it turned out way better than we anticipated, what we envisioned. Yeah. Everything seems to match and flow and the color scheme, everything worked out. Yeah, so we definitely love what we picked out and the guys are doing a fantastic job. To be honest, it's just making the carpet that's left <laughs> is making us realize how bad it really was. Yeah. Well, day two is in full swing here. They've already ripped out the carpet on the passenger side slide in the dinette area and the galley. And uh, it's it's pretty interesting to see, you know, the makeup underneath the carpet and, and all that good stuff. So hopefully today I have no issues. I can uh, put it in and it's already looking, looking nice. You can see the back room behind me. I'm still admiring that. Um, they've done really good work thus far. So. Uh, today should be short and sweet. Knock this out here, and then we have the couch side, and then a few um, smaller areas up front around the pedals, 
um, in the driving area and the stairwell coming in and then the step cover they've got to put carpet on and uh, and we'll call it a wrap from there I'm comparing the old carpet to the new carpet they are night and day different I didn't realize how much I hated this stuff until I laid it next to the new stuff it is gonna be so nice when it's all done Today, we mount the antenna on the roof. I've solicited some help because my hands are sweating right now just thinking about it. And just like that, the antenna installed. Daniel is my hero. <laughs> but he's done this a time or two. And, uh, you know, he, he doesn't have my fear of drilling through the, the roof. But uh, went straight into the cabinet. Uh, it looks nice. looks professional. Which, AKA, I didn't do it. So, um, all good. the extra carpet they had left over they had already factored in making these extra mats as they call them that's just a scrap piece that they put a binding on and they put it up here on the engine cover as this is a heavily trafficked area they also made little slides for our dumbbells out of extra scrap um, carpet that was in the bin I went outside and grabbed it out and I was just going to cut a piece out and put them on there I was not expecting them to also put a binding on it. So this is a great use of, of all of our carpet. The most important mat that they made for us was right here in the kitchen. This area here was probably the worst spot in the entire rig. And it's just because this is where the cooking is done, the coffee's made, everything is done right here. And if it can be spilled or splashed, you can guarantee Stacy and I'll do it. So what they did is they made us these mats to go on this spot here so as you can see they cut it they put the binding on it as well and it fits right in here and it actually gives an extra bit of cushioning while you're standing here and they also did one here for the refrigerator very nice touches and once these are dirty and worn we will toss them and we'll still have another layer of carpet underneath yeah and the good thing is we can we can take them outside we can shake them we could steam clean these as well because it's the same carpet so we could try to prolong it but if you know for whatever reason it it gets destroyed we can pitch it we still have this nice clean carpet underneath now I do recommend if you go there ask them to cut it so it goes underneath the the cabinets a little better um, I feel like it would stay in place better if it had those little notches it kind of slides around a lot and it's driving me a little bit crazy because of that a couple more mats let's check them out for under the chairs they made these little mats that will slide under the chair and wrap around the post as you see here 
Now, the reason they didn't replace the carpet under the chairs is because when they put the, the uh, tile down, the carpet was already there, so some of that got mortared in. So it's in there pretty good. And they didn't want to mess with, you know, ripping out part of it. So they made these mats. The mat that I'm sitting on, they actually made this to go under the dinette where the feed area go, try to preserve that carpet. But Stacy kept tripping on it. She kept getting her foot caught on it. So we took it and moved it up here to the front. It seems to fit, and it works out fine. One of the other things they did on the step cover, uh, because it's the edges are free, they're not butt up against anything like it is here, is they put the binding around the edges, both sides, to keep them from fraying and unraveling. Another extra step that I would have never thought about, those guys thought of everything. The longer we live in this RV with our new flooring, the more I absolutely love it. It was the best upgrade ever. I am so glad we did it. If you're thinking of upgrading your flooring, stop thinking about it, jump in and do it. All right, so I know you're waiting to hear all about the numbers. What did it cost us? Well, Phil left me his notes here for all the materials. All right, first of all, let's talk about the vinyl flooring. We went with barren oak, that's our color, um, and it is 6.5 millimeters thick, and we needed three boxes for a total of about 153 bucks. That does include a military discount at Lowe's, in case you're wondering. We also needed the threshold, otherwise called a reducer. That was about 21 bucks, so our vinyl flooring was about 175 bucks from Lowe's. All right, let's talk about the carpet. We went with a stain master called Taupe Whisperer, and its face weight was 45. We bought a 12 by 20 foot section and the cost for that was about 612 bucks. And again, that does include a military discount. All right, so the grand total for materials was about 785 bucks. All right, so the total cost for labor for this job was 2,190 bucks. 40 of that was a little bit of an add on because we had them drill the hole for the antenna, which really eased Phil's mind because you guys know how much he hates drilling into the roof. So that's it for our, our total costs. Altogether, it was just under three grand, and I think it was money well spent. MSRV Solutions did a great job. We highly recommend them. They do great work, and they're really just great guys. So let us know if you've done some upgrades to your RV. Have you changed out your flooring? Did you pay somebody? Did you do it yourself? Feel free to put links below if you want to show us your work. The more you see other people's um, befores and afters, the easier it is to decide what you want to do with your RV. So thanks again for watching. Hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you Today, on the road.